Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be solving this problem called split. Alright, so write a method split that rearranges the elements of a list so that all the negative values appear before all the non-negatives. Um, suppose a variable stores this list, 8, 7, negative 4. After the call of split, it should rearrange the list to put the negatives first. One possible arrangement would be the following, but it matters only that the negatives appear before the non-negatives, so that is only one possible solution. Another legal solution would be to rearrange the values in this way. So basically, um, order doesn't matter. Just that the only thing that matters is that negatives before positives. All right. So you're not allowed to swap data fields or to create any new nodes to solve the problem. You must rearrange the list by re rearranging the links of the list. So we can't use any auxiliary data structures like arrays, array lists stacks, queues, or anything to solve the problem. All right, and then we're assuming we're adding it to the linked int list class. So the first time that I was solving this, I forgot that this linked int list class doesn't have a previous like field, so it has only the next field. So because of that, we're gonna have to kind of work kind of like ahead into the future, but not really into the future, if that makes sense. So anyways, I'm gonna use a sample list that's eight, uh seven box them so eight seven negative four nineteen and zero and the hopes is that we would rearrange this list such that all the negative values come before the positives so the first thing to do is we're obviously gonna loop through all the values, right? Somehow, some way to compare which are negative, but we're not really gonna touch the first value because regardless, if the first value is positive, then after we do our whole algorithm, either way, all the negatives are gonna be in front. And if the first value is negative, all the negatives will be in front and it will be negative, so it'll be at the right spot. So, um, let's see. Yeah, so since we don't have a field that is previous, linking to the previous node, um, we, we only have the next field. So we want to loop, right? So this is going to be current. And so we'll have, so this is the front of the list, right? And the idea is we're going to move all the negative values to be the new head of the list and update their next fields to be what's already in the front. So if we put a reference to this called current, um we will loop through um while current instead of checking current is not null we're gonna say while current dot next um is not null because the thing is we would want to check so the first value like i said doesn't matter so we want to check okay is current dot next a negative value or not and if it is then i want to move it to the front and the reason that we would check current.next, so this is current.next, right? Is because say that it is negative and we need to move it to the front, then we would need to have a way to reference the node that comes after it once we move this to the front. Okay, this is a horrible explanation, but I don't know how to explain this one better. I should probably practice, but um, let me just show the idea. So basically... Um, we would need to okay let me okay so pretend that we're looping while current dot next does not equal no right and say that we hit this value of seven and right now current is pointing here so in our loop we're gonna check okay while current dot next does not equal no right we're gonna say okay is current dot next less is it a negative value so if current dot next is less than zero then we actually want to move um, this value here to be the head of our list. So if we do that, we first would need to store what's already at the head in some temp variable. So I'll say temp head equals the front of the list because if we're going to move something else to the front, we don't want to lose reference to the rest of the entire list. So like, let's say we move negative four to the front and we don't reference back correctly then everything that's 8, 7, 19, 0 is going to get lost. So we're going to first store the, the front into some temporary variable. And then 
we're gonna move make make sure that the new front is that negative value or that negative node that we had found so we're gonna say front equals to um current dot next because that's the node that was negative it's not going to be current we're just using current to get to the value that's after it and check if that's negative so we'd say front equals to current dot next right and the other thing that we're gonna have to do is we're gonna want to rearrange the link so that like this seven current value its next value should be pointing to 19 which was the next value of the negative value we found. Because we're moving this negative value to the front of the list, then we don't want to... Okay, so we don't want something that looks like this. So we don't want to move negative 4 to the front of the list and have 7 um, and 19 here. We don't want something that looks like this. So here, the negative 4, that next, is going to be... Oh my god, I didn't even do this right. Okay, so if we were to move negative 4 at the front of the list, we'd have it like this. And we'd make sure to link it to the rest of the list. So we'd have 8, and then we'd have 7. Um, but the problem is, if we don't rearrange the links, this negative 4 is not only going to be pointing to 8, but it's also going to be pointing to 19. And the list is going to be messed up completely because the 7 and the 19 are not going to be linked. So we want to make sure that if we find a negative value and we move it to the front, whatever uh, the previous thing we're on or the current thing, make sure that you promote its next pointer to be current.next.next. .next. And if uh, once we promote that to be current.next.next, .next, we don't actually have to like move the current forward because think about it. So say that we had this example, right? Um, the same example. So eight, seven, negative 4 19 0 and here we were this was current and then we checked okay current on next is less than zero so we moved this to be the head negative 4 and then we linked it to the rest of the list 8 7 i'll just have the 19 floating here and zero so now we're gonna say okay this is the remember that 7 is the current so we said that current dot next is going to equal current dot next dot next because we want to link the 7 to the 19 because we've already moved this negative value to the front of the list here so this is the front so um these will be linked but you might assume that since we're in the loop that we need to do current equals current dot next so that the current pointer can advance forward but the issue with this is that if we advance this current pointer forward if we move it from the 7 to 19 then since we're actually checking one ahead, since we're checking current.next is less than zero, we're not gonna be able to check if this 19 node is less than zero or not. Because if this becomes the new current, we're gonna have our check in the loop that says if current.next is less than zero, and it's actually gonna check this node, it's gonna skip over the check for this node, whether it's less than zero. So technically, if we find a negative value and we rearrange the links such that the negative value becomes the head, of the link list and that um uh, the the current value gets a new next value which is 19 we don't have to do current equals current dot next we don't have to advance any pointers because in theory it already advanced by itself because we are checking current dot next value is less than zero so we need to make sure not to skip over a node um i think that's about it honestly so if i were to um make this super super clear say we have eight we have seven, we have negative four, and we're looping through while current.next does not equal null. And say here is current. So remember, um, we would say, okay, right now we're gonna check if current.next is less than zero. So right now current.next is negative four, and that's less than zero. So what do we wanna do? We wanna promote this negative four to be the front of our list so we're gonna say okay so we're gonna store the f already front of our list in a temporary variable so i said temp head equals to front the front node so in this case eight and then i want my new front to be that negative value so front equal um to current dot next because that's where the negative value is at so in this case negative four so right now to illustrate we'd have negative four We'd have our 8, we'd have our 7, 
we'd have our negative 4 because we have not yet rearranged the links and we'd have our 19. So now um, we would like to rearrange the links. So we'd say, okay, current.next. So I'd say current.next equals current dot not dot next but dot next dot next so current dot next dot next so in theory this actually advances the pointer and if we didn't if current dot next is not negative then we can simply just go to the next value current equals current dot next because in this case so i'll say else so current equals current dot next because in this case we did not arrange any links so we didn't like implicitly advance the pointer, so we need to do that by ourselves, so we do not get stuck in an infinite loop. Okay, so I'm gonna code this, and yeah, I hope that explanation part of this um, problem. This is the linked list chapter. The problem is split, and explanation should be linked before this. So public uh, void split. All right. So in this case, um, if the front is null. Then we just have an empty list, and we don't really need to, like, um, split it, I guess. But we also don't need to really throw an exception, because assuming that we're going to return back that empty list, because we didn't do anything to it. So I'll just say return, and don't throw any exceptions. And if it's not, then we're going to say list node current equals to front. And we're going to say, so remember that we are staying like one ahead kind of thing so if this is current no sorry if this is current we're going to be checking if this value is negative if this is current we're going to be checking if this value is negative so we're kind of like one step ahead so we're going to say while well, current dot next does not equal null then if it turns out that current dot next is less than, dot data um is less than zero less than zero then um, we want to promote that negative value to be the front of our linked list. We want to make sure we have a reference to the uh, previous front of our linked list. And we also want to make sure to properly rearrange the links. And we want to make sure that we don't accidentally advance the pointer too far ahead because by rearranging the links, it implicitly advances the pointer because we're checking current.next when we are at the current position. So we're going to say list node temp head equals front. And then we're going to say front equals this current dot next because that's where the negative value um, li lied, laid. No, not lied. Lie. That's where the negative value lie. Lay. Alright. Um, and then if. So front would equal current dot next. And then. Okay, so we want to make sure that our front.next would be equal to our current. So first, let's rearrange the links. So I forgot how I did that. Current.next. Okay, so the current that we're currently on should be... So current.next would equal current.next.next. And then we want to make sure that our new front.next is equal to that temporary head. And that's it. And then, else, we need to advance the pointer one forward. Current equals current dot next. All right. All right, yeah, hope that made sense. Thanks for watching.